Hello, I'm being discharged from Bart shortly. Have my bag packed and just phoning Michael to come and get me. Um, this is my second admission, um, emergency admission within the last three weeks. I was admitted on Monday morning because um, I went into a drill in shock. Uh, due to the fact that the hospital had put me on the high steroids uh, when I came in before, they had put me on a quad in a soul, quad in a soul, five meg tablets. They'd reduced it, uh, the dose on Tuesday. This was when I got the previous inflammation on my brain due to the toxins in the two immunotherapy drugs. After I had a second uh, immunotherapy treatment of the Ipi and Nivolumab, and um, that did significant damage to my pituitary gland, um, which they felt wouldn't be functioning, functioning the endocrine unit, which is the hormone unit here at Barts. But they felt that um, by monitoring it, I would have been able to have the um, third treatment, which I was due to have yesterday of the intravenous drug treatment for my malignant melanoma. But what transpired, I stopped the steroids on Tuesday as directed, and I didn't realize they still stayed in your system for a few days. So I was still being very hyper, rushing around, cleaning windows, getting all my housework done. Um, and then Sunday evening, I began to feel very poorly and the horrific headache returned. And I phoned a hotline and they told me, don't take the steroids for the uh, head pain because they're not compatible and you're due to have your combined treatment again this Wednesday. Just take some codeine. And as soon as the oncologists arrive at nine o'clock in the morning, we'll get them to phone you. But anyway, um, I had a really, really horrible night. I began to feel very weak and shaky and horrible head pain. And the oncologist phoned the following morning at nine and she said, come straight in. They took my bloods. Um, they did a COVID-19 test again, which fortunately is negative. And um, what transpired by uh, as a result of taking their bloods, the endocrine team, five of them, including their chief uh, consultant, came and to visit me in my room the next morning. And she explained that my pituitary gland is completely burned out. That will never work again. So because that's burnt out due to the toxin side effects of the combined intravenous drug treatments, for the cancer, they have now put me on for my lifetime two drugs, hydrocortisone, 10 meg at the moment, uh, three times a day. Uh, that is to, that is also a steroid, but it's not a steroid that makes you hyper. That will replace the function of the pituitary gland. And they've also put me on levotroxine, that is to, that is a hormone, that is a more natural hormone. I have to take one of those 100 micrograms. I've got to take that once in the morning and uh, that replaces the function, stabilizes the thyroid uh, and the adrenal glands. Um, if I didn't have the hydrocortisone, I would become extremely ill, the consultant explained to me, uh, because I wouldn't even have the capacity to fight a common cold. But she said he'll be tweaking these medicines, I'll be giving them regular blood. So what the oncology uh, unit have decided, they're going to give me the intravenous boat drugs on Wednesday of next week, the 6th of May, uh, and they feel I'll be able to tolerate this. It is my only hope. The tumour on my thigh is now enormous, the size of a tennis ball uh, near my groin in the lymph nodes, and um, fortunately it hasn't gone into the organs as yet, 
but there's no other way, there's no other treatment except these two combined drugs that has, that will be successful. And as I explained in my previous video, I met a lady who mirrored my um, diagnosis exactly and she finished the uh, both intravenous drugs, she finished those a couple of months ago and her tumour is completely gone. But she is like me, she's on the hydrocortisone for the rest of her life, she's on the levetiroxine. Um, but she said, so what? My tumours are gone, I have my life back and that's the way I look at it. So I think there is definitely light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, it has been a tough journey and um, I would like uh, people to share this video if possible to make people aware of this horrible disease, melanoma, and to also, um, although they mine is litigenous melanoma, which started, just started with a bruise on my um, uh, third right toe, which I had amputated, uh, that was three years ago, well, four years ago now, 2.15, and then it just spread from there because they didn't get it in time. And I had to have a further excision into my foot and then it um, went to my uh, groin and I had a surgery, but when it came back again, they knew there was no point in having more surgery. So they started me on the Pembrolizumab, which I was on for a year, and that did nothing. It was of no use, even though the side effects were very mild. So um, this is my way forward. But what I would like to say, uh, the litigenous melanoma, they said to me, it doesn't come from the sun. But I do believe that be going out in the sun and, you know, getting tan. And I also went on sunbeds in the 90s. And um, I would definitely advise any young people to stay away from sunbeds. Um, you know, you think the madness of it. If we're meant to have fair skin, we have fair skin. And God makes beautiful black people and beautiful brown people and beautiful fair people. So, you know, everybody is beautiful in their own way. So we don't need to be topping up on sunbeds, wasting our money. So uh, that's why I'd like to share you. I'd like you all to share and thank you all for watching. Thank you all for your support. And I'd like to um, mention my husband, how kind he's been and my son, Martin, and all of my family who have supported me and my close friends, particularly Francis, all of my friends and my extended family. Um, they've supported me through this journey and lifted my spirits by sending me various messages and uh, and um, I just want to go forward from here. So I hope all is positive in the future and particularly just during these sad times when we're losing so many people from the coronavirus, which is very tragic. And I see how the NHS here in the hospital are just absolutely wonderful, all of them, even on this ward and cleaners, the staffs that in actual fact, I sent an email to Circo. I couldn't leave without sending an email because my room is just amazing, spotlessly clean and I've met all the staff and from the people that work for, uh, for Circo, the cleaning contractors and the um, do a marvellous job and also the lovely ladies that serve the meals, their food is amazing, it's just like in a restaurant so um, it's been a lovely um, special time here you know particularly when i started to get better obviously when i not when i came in first so goodbye for now take care stay safe all of you and look forward to updating you soon bye for now